Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, this is Christopher Draves, and this is Matt Weiss. You got it! Yay. Holy crap, he's white. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never do that again. No, um, not for the show. No, no, no. Our, our show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can visit them at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Or call them at 414-800-7585. All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk. Well, this is our trade tracker and trade video. It is February, so it's officially trade deadline season. Yeah, aren't we like a week or two out? Um, end of the month. Yeah, I've got a week or two out. We're so, literally like three weeks away. From trade deadline is February 24th. It is officially right now February 9th yeah. at this time of night. So we have... Oh, what, two, to, two and a half weeks? Hmm? Roughly? One, two... Was it? Two weeks in like a day. Trade, oh. trade deadline Monday. Yeah, so Monday. So pretty much you're going to be seeing a lot of us on Sunday and Monday of that week. Yeah. Um, or just a lot of us. But yeah. You guys, you guys like us, so. And I like oh. you, too. <laughs> well, you're new. You're yeah. new. They have to get used to you. Yeah, all right? that's true. They have to get used to us before they start liking the shenanigans we do. All right, so trade bait is really of who's on, who, who could be traded based on how teams are performing. So let's get into the first one. Wait, wait, are we talking about every team or just ours? Every team. Okay. I because sure we, we never know who could be coming here and who could well, be going I wasn't where. I'm sure what direction we were going. I figured yeah. I'd ask yeah. people. Yeah. This is one of those we're covering everybody because we kind of we're going to talk a little bit about what each guy could fetch technically, and maybe a couple prospects, a pick. Yeah. Just give your personal opinion. All right, let's do it. All right, so up first we got Chris Kreider from the New York Rangers. He's 28 years old, 50 games played, 18 goals. 35 points, uh, but he does carry a $4.6 million contract. <laughs> What's his career stats look like? Um, I don't know his particular career stats. I would have to open, like, a window for everybody. Oh, but yeah, yeah, I can't it, do it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Well, because he is Right a... now, it's about what you're doing now. When you're traded, it's about what you... If you're going to, like, a contending team, yeah. you're, it's about what you could do right yeah, now. Games, games, goals, and points. Well, what's he yeah. doing right now? Uh, he has 18 goals, 35 points. Yeah. So he's yeah. he's pretty pretty solid right now. Solid. He's a good two way forward from what I've seen of him in his career. All right. Um, what yeah. do you think? What do you think he can fetch? I mean, that it's that cap that's gonna. That's yeah, gonna his hurt. number. A lot of teams that are in cap uh, purgatory, they'd probably want to shy. Well, just away. remember when the cap when the trade deadline comes in, the cap goes up. I think by three million. Yeah. So that you but don't end up in cap per, per penalties. Yeah, mm. but he does eat that, uh, eat a nice chunk. Well, you also got to remember the cap hit is only what he's getting paid. You got to remember, they pay these players every game, so that's not exactly what's going to hit you right. when you come in. Right. So um, we'll see what happens. I mean, I guess you could say, I, I personally think he, a second round well, who pick in some the prospects. Rangers need, though? Like, what do you think they need? They need to build. They need to rebuild. Mm -hmm. So they need picks and prospects. But they're, cons they're currently in the playoff on right now, ain't they? No. Mm-mm. Huh? are in the cellar. The, the, the Hartford, was it their uh, AHL team is in the playoff run? Ah. Yes. Um, so I, I don't know. I think picking a couple prospects, you might be able to pull them. Yeah, try to move up. In the but it all there. also comes down to what is the Rangers GM going to ask for him? If the price is too high, he stays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the Rangers probably would be dumb to ask for a lot because he is a consistent, a good player. A lot of unlucky uh, unluckiness in the uh, in the in the square garden, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, next up, we got Alec Martinez uh, from the LA Kings. He has uh, he's thirty two years old, a left sided defenseman. Uh, he plays. Uh, he's played in thirty five games, has one goal and seven points. Ouch. That is not like him. Probably got injured along the way, I would assume. If he's already played in 35 games. I, I would think that he would be able to at least fetch a a top-selling te top team right now would yeah. be able to fetch a first round for him straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Um, he does carry a $4 million cap with one year left, so yeah. you get him for that extra year, mm -hmm. which does help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Now, this, this next one is an interesting situation. Ilya Kovalchuk, Montreal. 
He was just yeah. released by the LA Kings at a $4 million contract. Since going there, he's scored nine goals and has 19 points. Well, that's not bad. Or eight goals and 19 points this Still year. 700,000 is their cap hit. Is his cap hit. That could be an easy steal. That's one of those. But I think he likes Montreal, so I, I think he stays. Yeah. Well, with, especially with the UFA where he can restructure it. All right, so are these guys, like, currently on the trade block? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right um, Jean Gabriel Peugeot, Ottawa. 27 years old, 50 games played, 20 points. He's got 30, tw- 20 goals, 32 points with a 3.1 Cap hit, and he's a UFA after you, this. You could have, you could have just stopped at Ottawa right there. <laughs> he'll he, get a, he he'll get a second he, round pick for him. That's my opinion. Yeah, I give you that. Uh, just a little joke on Ottawa, you know. Uh, Sammy Votnin, in New Jersey. Uh, the one. I don't know. If New Jersey's trying to build something, or I he could actually stay. Well, with this year, it, it, you I say if anything, anything, try to get rid of that uh, Sube and Albatross. Um, because he's eating up a lot of cap and he ain't just a total big bird. <laughs> um, he's 28 years old, played in 47 games, five goals, 23 points with a 4.9 cap hit. Ouch. He is a UFA after this year, so kind of when you look at it, he is the only right-sided defenseman in the top. Yeah, I wonder. Ten. If, you gotta wonder if Jersey's just gonna let that one slide just to offshore that. Like and if they are gonna restructure anything, it's gonna be for much less. Yeah. There's no way he's gonna get that four point nine again. Unless suddenly he like starts producing like yeah. a guy worth it, but I doubt. But I think it's so late in the season now, it wouldn't even be worth it. Yeah. All right. Up next, we have Brendan Dillon of San Jose. Oh, how the mighty have fallen with San Jose. No kidding. Uh, twenty nine years old. He has fifty three games played, one goal, thirteen points, with a three point two seven cap hit. Known for blocking shots. He is a stay-at-home defenseman. Not really known for his points, but he will keep the puck out of your net. I mean, that's one of those X factors that you just can't really teach. That's more instinct. Yeah. It's very sacrificial, too. Like, again, you're putting your body on the line. You're putting your, like, just on everything. You're putting your chest. You're putting your arms. You're putting your own freaking head on the line. Mm-hmm. Like, again, this is, this is, you, there's a lot of, uh, What's there's a lot of chutzpah. 3.27. So it's lower than some of the other ones we're going to see. Yeah, there's a lot of chutzpah in being a defenseman. I'd say they didn't sh- I think they could get a, a a good second round or uh, to like from like uh, the Lightning or or even maybe Calgary at this point. Yeah. He would be a good fit for Calgary because Calgary with losing Giordano, mm-hmm. they're going to be coming for a defenseman. So that's one of the things I'm thinking of. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Um, and then we got Tyler Toffoli, L.A. Um, he just needs to get out of L.A. He yeah, has I agree. two more years left. Uh, he has uh, 27 years old, so he's got a long, long time left in him. Yeah. Uh, 14 goals, 29, 29 points with a 4.6 cap hit, but you can restructure that at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah you can restructure, plus he's a good, consistent player that has potential to do more than that. Like he's All right, stuck so once, Kings, once, not once we get to beyond the 10 mark, it gets a little, ooh. So, uh... After that, I, I like I said, I think he could he could fetch a few prospects and even a pick with those. So yeah, yeah. Um, I wish him the best in his future endeavors. Sir. Um, and then we have Shane Gostisbehere with Philadelphia, twenty six years old, forty games played, five goals, twelve assists, and a four point five cap hit for the next three years. Mm. So Owie. so that's not the worst thing because he will produce. I think the problem is is those really? three years. No, I think the real problem is is actually look at Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. They're all aging horribly. Yeah. They bought into that, we're going to get a cup, and then never got it. Mm-hmm. And then when they did that, with Gosses Mayer coming in and everything, they just, just paid totally these. Just falling apart on paying. Yeah. Just it, going out on the bank with it. Exactly. They just backfired in Philly. Um, this one actually surprises me and interests me in a weird way. Uh, we have Andreas Anthonisiu, Detroit. Uh, 25 years old. He has 36 games played, 5 goals, 19 assists with a $3 million cap hit. But the kicker there is you don't have to pay him that 3 for an RFA. Mm-hmm. 
So you can sit there and go, well, guess what? Arbitration. Boom. Because hockey does have that. Now, the first pick we're going to see Sorry, here. baseball, but yeah. that's too sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first pick we see here is Carolina's first round pick. Do you think anybody in the top ten they can fetch? I mean, that is... I mean, like, if Montreal is interested in Kovalchuk, I'd probably be one that uh, raises, a, raises a good one. The other one would be Gossespierre, because that, yeah, that shows up true. their defense for three yeah, years. Exactly. So that would be where... But then again, do you really want to give Carolina, your rival, that piece? That's the other thing, like, because, again, the rule of... Trying to stay, was well, keeping away from individuals. Billy, they already had one thing backfire on him. Maybe this will backfire on him, too, and I'll get lucky. All right, up next, we got Matt Dumba from the Minnesota Wild. He's 25 years old. He has 51 games played, three goals, 16 points, a uh, $6 million cap hit for the next three years. That's I blame that on Minnesota for even giving him that deal. Yeah, that's it. The Minnesota Wild's out of that deal worse than they won out of the Ryan Suter one. Yeah. <laughs> Because Suter is less than that. Yeah, yeah. And Dumba, he ain't worth it. He's like maybe four at no, the most. When uh, Mikhail Granlin was with them, or, it, because I'm looking at it now. Um, Granlin was, was he was, was he carrying that same uh, price tag? Yeah. yeah. And like, it was good. Just, but yeah, like Granlin doing so well. Like, Matt Dumba. Gran, Granlin was doing hot in Minnesota. That's why I was shocked that they traded. Um, so yeah. what do you what do you think he could fetch? Do you think he, he he will easily fetch a first round pick? Yeah, easily, yes, easily, mid to high. And that's any any team will give up a first for him. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking even. Well, no, I can't say that because yeah, Ottawa's not giving up that first. And by the way, Ottawa, they're the tricky ones because Ottawa has theirs and San Jose's. Oh man! So that they could, mm-hmm. in theory, get their team back together. Yeah, in just one draft. Yeah. That ain't, that's actually every like, GM's dream to fix all their problems in one we're draft. Gonna, we're gonna put the band back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get back. We're to gonna the, give you uh, Eric Carlson, and then you guys are gonna choke in two years, right. and then you're gonna give us the pick for that year, so that way we can rebuild our team and get a better defenseman than he ever was. Yeah. We're at, we're we're on a mission for the cup. Yeah. <laughs> um, the so then we have Andre Case. Uh, he's 24 years old. He has 46 games played, six goals, 21 points, and 2.6 uh, cap hit in one year after this. Speedy skater, um, pass first kind of guy. Um, not something that many teams need, but speedy skaters always do come in handy. Well, especially like with a, a right winger, especially for like breakaway goals or anything like that, where if you get that puck, you can easily put it in their zone right away. But again, <laughs> it's not exactly an essential because most people, you have many people, when it was a many, uh, was it uh, frontline skaters that are not afraid to, you know, put it into overdrive? Yeah. yeah. But it's just good to have, like, another... It's always good to have speed. It's always good to have a winger that's right there to pick up a puck when you need it, especially in a, a case where you need to start moving islands to set up a goal or a shot. Yeah. All right, and then next up we have Dylan DeMello, uh, Ottawa. 26 years old, 42 games played, no goals, 10 points. With a nine thousand nine nine hundred thousand cap hit. That no goal will hurt, I think. That yeah. but, but but he is a stay at home defenseman. So right. yet again yes. we're back at the this is actually something I could see Nashville going after yeah. because they purely need, for defensive. Purely for defensive purposes yeah. to help out their goal tag. Yeah, Getting not to body. mention it would be a cheap uh it would be a cheap price to Exactly. Pay. And if He's you give... Even making a mill, because so. right now, like, in the sense of the Predators, the thing that's hurting Pekka right now is the defense. Yeah. So, we'll see where they go with that. And that's what's hurting Soros as well. Yeah. Again, so, our what, goalies are defenseless right yeah. now. Yeah. So, speaking of the Nashville, we got Mikel Granlin from the Nashville Predators, 27 years old. Great uh, 45 games played, 10 goals, 18 points, which means he has 8 assists, but a $5.7 million ca- cap hit. He is a UFA after this year. With the way he's been playing under Hines, I, I see Nashville. I see Nashville holding him. Yes. Yeah, they'd be dumb to let him go. I, I'm at not, this and point. this is not us trying to be biased. No, we're this saying that. Honesty. I think this is when this one was put out there. Now, okay, if you give me an offer, I can't refuse. Then yeah. Then yeah. Yeah. 
But then again, it's like you was a Christian. I like we're like I was a kind of a closet wild fan back in my my days when I was living up in the Fox Valley or huh. not the Fox Valley, Chippewa Valley. But yeah, like we were both kind of shocked to see that like Grandland was uh, traded off the way he was. Yeah, because I thought it was using. stupid because he was he was like one of the few good wild players. That Fan favorite and a like a consistent guy every time he took the ice. Too. Which yeah. was well, the only thing I hated about it was when they traded him. We went like what was it like four days later, and he had to got to he went down to Nashville, yeah. and they had jumped on a plane like an hour before he got there. To Minnesota, so he didn't play in the game against Minnesota. So we were upset we didn't get to see him play. Yeah, because we were we were in Minnesota for that particular game. Just didn't say like just, just like just shack up in a like ho- just shack up in a hotel for a couple days. We'll be right there to meet hey, you. Hey, just like me and him went there expecting to see uh, we'll even pay you when we get there. Exactly. We'll pay here. Tell the hotel that this check is coming. Boom. When you check out, here's the check. Well, I'm sure he's got a place in, in the city. Yeah, because me and him yeah. wanted to see Pekka versus Dubnik, and Pekka and Dubnik were uh, on the bench, and they had Sarles playing uh, Stalock right. instead. Again, just like hold on to that, that housing lease for a little li- little bit longer. Yeah, but I'd say <laughs> hold on to Granlin. He's, he's a good piece to keep on your roster. He's consistent. All right, so up next after that we have Josh Manson uh, from I'm Anaheim. Not with him. Uh, he has he's 28 years old, 33 games played, one goal, six points. Um, yet another one of those Anaheim stay-at-home defensemen. Yeah. They're, what is they, up Anaheim having those guys? But they paid him 4.1 for the next two years. Yeah. Uh, he ain't worth that, and he will probably fetch a third-round pick if at most. Uh, we, go back to, we go back to Minnesota with Ryan Donato at left winger. Uh, I feel bad for Donato. 23 years old, 45 games played, 9 goals, 15 points at $1.9 million with one year remaining. Not to mention, after that one year, he's still an RFA. Yeah. Hey, how much of his uh, bad performance is due to him, and how much is due to the fact that he's not on the greatest of teams? I think it's a little of this, and it's a little of the, a well, little column A, a little column B. How can it be a little of this if I don't hear nothing about him? But he's never had a friend like me, right? I mean, in, in my <laughs> personal opinion, you got traded from the Bruins. Now you're about to get traded from Minnesota. Well, Minnesota's known for making stupid decisions, so it doesn't really surprise you. It's just, yeah. There's it's only, Minnesota. There's I don't even there. like their GM. All right. Idiot. All right. Well, they did get a new one. He's an idiot, too. He yeah. hasn't done anything just, yet. He can't. You, yeah. He's still in cap purgatory because of the last guys before him. He's <laughs> sitting there looking at the financial budget going, uh-oh. <laughs> what did, did I agree to this job. Why? I'm going to get fired. It ain't even my fault. God, you got to get fired. It's his fault you can that probably, I'm getting fired like, they, I can't fix They probably signed fault. Bob the Builder to be the GM, and he couldn't fix that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if he can't fix it, I'm going to get <sighs> all right, that's enough talking about that. Let's all right, so we got Alexander Greg Varov, a goaltender, 23 years old for the Rangers. He has 23 games played with a 3.11 goals against average and a .910 save percentage. He is an RFA. He is young goalie yeah, and a okay. seven point. A 793,000 cap hit. I this think one if he a, moves to a different team... Yeah. He's a I solid some, backup somewhere. Yeah, this yeah. is a solid investment goalie right here. Like so I'd say maybe before. a third round pick possibly, just because you're looking for a backup. Yeah, and if you have a goalie who's aging, or you don't, you you're not sure about the guys you got. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I would bring him into the mix to see if he lights a fire under this, somebody. Or even better, this is one that you put in your uh, ECHL or your AHL affiliate and let the this see what they like, light de- up. This is a depth uh, issue. Yeah, this is one of those depth additions like we did with Ingram at the end of the yes. season last year. Yes, look how well it turned out for us. That's yeah, exactly so this is just one of those you, if you could, and the the reason he's on here isn't because he's bad. He's no. bad. It's literally because they have so many goalies exactly. in the Rangers system. They need to, they're yeah. not going to trade away uh, Igor Shostorkin. No. Nope. He is the future of that of that yeah, team, yeah, yeah. and. If you try to weigh Lundqvist, you're, you're gonna. You're an idiot. You're, He's you're a Hall of Famer. It also just reflects badly on the organization. Yeah, the guy's been with you his whole career. That'd be like Nashville trading Pacarina. Exactly. Yeah, right. Um, and then now we get to back to back Toronto. Uh, Andreas Johansson, 
Uh, 25 years old, 37 games, uh, 7 goals, 18 points, a $3.4 million contract for 3 years. If you're doing this, this is one of those where you're flopping the, the guy under him, Kasperi Kapanen, uh, also for Toronto, right wing, 23 years old. He has 51 games played, 10 goals, 28 points uh, for 3.32. If you're trading, you know, uh, up. So basically, you're trading those two for a guy whose cap's a little bit higher than that. Yeah. So, like, say, if uh, I don't want to say this, but say Nashville won those two. Yeah. You trade away Johansson for the $8 million, mm -hmm. or or even, you know, you drop, uh, you know, a couple thousand dollars by trading Turris for one of those two, or, you know, it's just something you're gonna you're gonna have to eat a bigger cap for because exactly. these guys are young, and you want to compete right now. So that's kind of you gotta eat this. And yeah. personally, it's always good to go young if you try to rebuild yeah. first. Place. Or if you're trying to do a quick retool, it does help to have guys that have the experience yes, they have. Exactly. Yeah. Because remember, they were also there for obviously 23 and 25. If they were drafted at 18, they were there pretty much from 20 on. Right. And they're there during the entire Toronto rebuild. Right. Right, before, right when Matthews came in, they got there. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of those things where right. you just got to look at it and go, eh, we'll see. I can't believe the, the Maple Leafs haven't really been able to do much once they got Matthews. The, Toronto, like the thing with these two Toronto uh, like trade baits, like you have to look at it like almost like a One point. has three years left, one has two years It's left. a flip of the coin. It really is. And this is one of those you gotta pray that it works out for your team because if you does it, you're you really screwed up. Yeah, it's like, a quote Caddyshack. It's, it's like if we don't make this, we lose. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically I mean, that. It, it, I, I mean, it, it's almost like how uh, Washington felt after the Martin E. Rat, Michael Latta, and a second round pick <sighs> for Philip Forsberg. Yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, I remember that. I was oh, uh, and Tyler Schwartz. Well, remember, remember Admiral fans that day? Like we were just so upset to see Michael Latta go, and, and then, then Forsberg comes in, and they're like, uh, we're okay, we're okay, we're good. Yeah, bye, <laughs> hello, and bye. <laughs> we, love you, we love you, but uh, okay, door closed. Okay, Philip Forsberg, let's go. <laughs> and then he comes in, hi, oh crud, bye. <laughs> see you in Nashville. All right. Yeah. Onward and uh, downward, actually. <laughs> uh, Jeff Petrie, Montreal, right defenseman, uh, $5.5 million for a year after this. He's 32 years old, seven goals, 32 point, 33 points, but he has seven goals. Yeah. So he's an assist guy. I don't know what his plus minus is, but we'll, I'll, I'll guarantee. Yeah, we got a really solid assist man here. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we have Ron Haynes. Ooh, you're still playing? <laughs> Easy, uh, easy, Dan. <laughs> easy. <laughs> I know, I know, it's the Ottawa thing, but uh, easy. <laughs> Ron Hainsey, uh from the Ottawa Senators, thirty-eight years old. Uh, Damn, you're right, thirty-eight. Ouch. <laughs> uh, Forty-five games played, one goal, eleven, uh, ten assists, with a three-point-five cap hit. You're not going to get nothing for that. No. Yeah, you you're just... going to be lucky to get a fourth or fifth. Yeah, yeah you just got to eat that and uh, release him at the end of his deal. Uh, Alex Gochenyuk, Pittsburgh, um, kind of a journeyman. He has 43 games played, 5 goals, 17 assists. How old is he? He's 25. How are you calling him a journeyman at 25? Let's see. He's played for Montreal, Arizona, and now Pittsburgh. That's three. A and journeyman would have like 48. <laughs> um, at 25, though? Pittsburgh's yeah. like the best organization he's been in. Well, the problem he runs into is yeah, that four. Yeah. You know, you're 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 in a spot where you're playing in a bottom six, and you're not a bottom six forward. Yeah. So you would. Yeah, I'd probably. With a four point nine cap hit and a UFA. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of him. What do you think he could fetch Pittsburgh? Uh, probably Pittsburgh two really prospects and a, a third or or second or third, depending on where they are. Yeah. Like if a team's like contending, it'll be two prospects in a third. I've noticed a lot of these picks were basically saying uh, a lot of these guys could just get draft picks, really no uh, any particular need. Yeah, uh, up next, Robin Leonard from the Chicago Blackhawks. 
he's getting kind of up there in age. I'd say he's twenty. Just twenty-eight. He's twenty-eight with twenty-nine games played with a two-point-eight-six goals against average and a point-nine-two-two save percentage. That is way better than Corey Crawford's three-point-four and yeah, point-eight-eight-seven. Five million, which I is the depth. Uh, well, he but he's a UFA at the end of the year, so you can kind of work that deal afterwards. Yeah, and yeah. not to mention he's still young enough. You get some like a good five years yeah. left. Well, you know where I stand on this. I'm just like this guy should honestly be in that more than Crawford. Here's the thing: they already said they're not going to pay him more, less, more. They're not even going to pay him the five million they initially paid him. They want to give him less, and he's outperforming your goalie who's making like seven million. I'm sorry, he, like, again, purely opinionated, but again, Crawford's a total sieve. He was when he was in Rockford. Yeah. Then again, it's just like, the, the was it the Chicago goal, goalie pipeline hasn't been as uh, flourishing as it as it was in the in the years past. I mean, they struck gold with Scotty Darling coming, well, you know, coming from our system. Yeah. And uh, for, well, coming from our system after a brief stint with us. And... We like, saved his career. And then basically being wasted by Chicago, who, like, again... And he wanted to come to Chicago, too. Yeah. Again, he's a, he's a, he's a Chi-Town boy. All right, so next up we got Zach Bogosian, Buffalo. Um, 29 years old, 18 games played. Uh, one goal, five, four assists with a 5.1. Ouch. Yep. Yeah, you're not getting nothing for that. No. Yeah, you're just gonna. All right, up next, back-to-back Nashville guys. Uh, Craig Smith, thirty games played, or thirty, 30 years, years old. old, fifty-one games played, eleven goals, eleven assists, consistent. Yeah. Um, he what do, has. A, what do you think you can get for him? A four-point-five cap hit. You're gonna get a solid second round, maybe a yeah. third. Yeah. You can get a prospect if need be, but. I, I think they hold on to him just because he's been there so long yeah. and he's been consistent. He's been on one of their most consistent lines. You yeah. know what about Turris? Seeing how we're talking, and he's next on the list. Turris Turris has uh, thirty years old, forty four games played, six goals, twenty two points, with a six million dollar cap hit. Now that's back to where I was saying mm-hmm. that it's going to fetch multiple prospects if they do that. That carry those one to two, maybe three million dollar contracts. Right. Yeah. These young guys that carry those those contracts. So you may back to the Kasperi Cabinet well, and Andre. What do you think uh, the Predators should try to pick up then? Like just solely defensemen. For they they need wingers. They don't yeah, need they don't right. need centers. They're stacked yeah. in the center de- department. They need guys on the left and right. Yeah. yeah. They need wings and they need defense. But, um, back to right wingers interchangeable for the most part. Not really. Yeah. I mean, it does affect your co- chemistry, but like we said, if Kyle Turris is not happy in Nashville, then it's time to, to it's let him. Move. It's time to move on. Yeah. yeah. I, I, and, and I can't really blame him for being unhappy with having no. to deal with what he dealt with with La Violette yeah. with the beginning of this season where he benched him for like 10 games. Yeah, which, which made no that's... sense at all. Um, and then we have Valtteri Filfola. You're still playing? Easy, Dan. <laughs> uh, he's 35 years old, th- 52 games played, four goals, 17 points, with a $3 million cap hit for an extra year. One more in Detroit? Or with Detroit, I should say. Excuse One me. more, yes. Um, yeah. I, yeah. He, he's been traded three times for a third-round pick. That's what he's going to get again. It's just in the cards. Yep. Um, Marco Scandella, Montreal. $4 million cap hit. I feel bad for Scandella, too, because he started off with Minnesota. Yep. He played with Grandland, and then they send him off. To Buffalo. Buffalo trades him to Vancouver. Vancouver then flips him, like, two days later to yeah. Montreal. Jeez. So he, I don't know if it's him. Ooh. I think it's just a, it's a bad situation he unfortunately fell into. It's right now, it's just trade bait, basically. Like, I and mean, then he's, he's still yeah, part exactly. of it. Yeah. He's, he's still on, he's actually still on that Minnesota contract at four million. Maybe that's why. Again, just bouncing him around because of the four million. But here's yeah. the thing: he's a good player. Nobody should give him the shot. Minnesota gave him the shot and didn't suddenly like, eh, we're getting rid of you. I'm surprised he didn't land in Vancouver and stick. But then again, they must have seen something that would have benefited them that they got out of uh, Montreal. Yeah. So and then it I, makes no sense. All right, and so our last pick, he's an unsigned RFA from Edmonton. Um, Jesse Pugliarvi, 21 years old, 
42 games played overseas this year. Um, they didn't want to pay him. They don't have the money to pay him. Uh, he's 21 years old. What 17. Do you think he would uh, command? This is just him playing in 42 games. He's averaging almost a point per game. Uh, well, yeah. uh, what do you think he would command? Uh, crates well, let's, let's get the rest of the numbers. I mean, uh, he has no contract value right now. He said he's not signing till next year. And if they don't sign him by December 1st of next year, he's released to a free agency. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so 17 goals in Or 41. December 1st of what would be 2020. 17 goals, 41 points at the age of 21, though, of 42 games played. That's a solid guy you want in your pipeline. That's what I'm saying. And you don't want to put that with McDavid. You don't want to put a big body with McDavid and have something like you had with Gretzky. No. Like, yeah. What? Do I have to do the rock burn? Like, honestly, I don't don't get Edmonton's play here. What are you doing? <laughs> you, this is someone that you could easily put there, there, in. Uh, there, this are, is, the tr- there are, what do like, you call it? They're pardon, all suckering their fans well, into giving them money. That's pardon, what doing. pardon me for not knowing their ECHL affiliate, but why is he not in Bakersfield? <laughs> they wouldn't even give him. He wanted $2 million for two years. And they're Edmonton. Two for two years. Wow, dude. I would love to play this is hockey the, for a million this years. Is the, this is the. And they the, wanted to give him a two way contract with, under a million. That's pitiful. That's so this is why you uh, your your prospects want to leave you with Nashville. At least they go well. If you sign this deal, uh, we'll give you what two way this year, but the next year yeah. we'll give you a one way contract. Yeah, there's negoti- Freddie Goudreau. There's negotiability. And also, Freddie worked with how much with the Admirals, like just to you know stay consistent. I like, can't get the Freddy issues a hot button issue with you because you like perked up when we started talking no, no, about no, no. the like, Drills. But when, it's when, a similar situation. Yeah, yeah it's, you're it's, right though. It's a similar. Freddy kept going back and forth. Back he kept going forth. back and forth. He had one like what is it? He had one or two seasons where he, he was actually consistent in in Nashville, and then yeah. we didn't see him for a while. And then uh, like in recent years, he just ke- he got sent back down. But then again, he's not crying about it because again, he knows the Milwaukee system perfectly to where he can still shine and, and go. And he'll be in position to get called back up. Exactly. With Come the playoff time. Exactly. I mean, he personally likes the fans down here. He smiles when he sees the fans yeah. down here. He's a total player. I've seen him total right. player. And let's just talk about how clutch. Let's just talk about our 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 dark horse in this. The clutch guy says. Since coming to Montreal, yeah, Kovalchuk. If if I'm gonna look at it real quick, NHL standings because if if at worst, if there's any chance of Montreal pulling out of that, he's gonna be a big piece of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, McDavid was hurt in today's Predators game, apparently. Oh, ah. He has they, they, they say it's like nothing serious though. Yeah, I don't know how. Because I watched the game and they didn't say anything. He has a bruised knee. A bruise. Yeah, he'll miss a game. Mm. He'll be fine. Just give just, him a game, put some ice on it, you'll be fine. Exactly. Don't freeze a puck. You're good. Exactly. <laughs> just sit him out the next game. Because you do have to treat him good because he's puck. your best yeah, player. <laughs> Get out of here, goalie. Get out of here. And David and Dreisaitl are the two best players they got. The All right, right Montreal there. is... Fifth in the Eastern in wild Conference card, wild so, card. Yeah. They're kind of in the same boat we're in, but we're a little bit closer than yeah, they are. Yeah, they're kind of neck and neck. Yeah. So, I mean... Let's just put it this way. As far as the team we cover, I think they just need to retool. They don't need to sell yeah. off everybody. Yeah, don't just get, panic. Just but you should smart. Be just smart. retool what you can get rid of. Take. Okay. Sell high, buy low. Stock market. Yes. Am I watching Mad Money? <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. I want to watch that movie at 2 for tomorrow. All, All right, right, so that uh, the only trade since we've had this to go on was February fifth. Uh, Jack Campbell, Jack Campbell, and Kyle Clifford of Toronto of the LA Kings were traded to Toronto. Oh yeah, sorry. To for Trevor Moore, a third round pick. And if Jack Campbell resigns, they get another third round pick. Yep. So there's that. Yeah, it's. The last uh, one in February. That's the most current one. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, that's all we have for this in particular video. Uh, 
But well, this is this is stuff that can change too, because we got what's left of these few weeks yeah. until uh, trade deadline there's a, there's Monday. A, trust me, trade deadline date. Or so like next million. next week we're gonna do in the system, and then that week. Uh, I believe we'll also have to do a trade deadline kind of yeah. week by week trade now. Trade deadline Eve. <laughs> I say trade uh, trade deadline. We should probably uh, do it at the same night as in the system. Yeah, because yeah. we're going to have to be covering this week by week because we don't know what's going to happen. And good God knows we did not sleep the last <laughs> trade deadline. Yeah, tell me about it. You kept bothering me. That's why I couldn't sleep. I would have woke up, see a million things happen, like, Daniel, let's go. But no, every time I tried to close my eyes, ring, 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 Chris, this happened, this happened. Like, dude, I could read it in the morning. Well, do a video in the morning. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. But it, it was it was crazy last year. But anyway. Right, anyway, let's, let's uh, wrap it up. Uh, yeah. So subscribe anyway. to us on YouTube. Click the little bell. Check YouTube. out our buddies over at Hockey Locker. 20 over, 20, 20 over 2.